In this short video, I'm going to talk about how we can parse a JSON field or the column we have. So imagine that this is my data that I have, and I'm going to show you that how we can actually uh, parse it. So here to make it clear, let me add an index column to that. So I'm going to add a index column it start from one under the add column under the Power Query Editor. So I'm going to add and move it to the actually here so this is actually the data that i have so if you click on each cell of the data you will see the json format over here so to parse it i'm using an online json editor to make it parse so just going to copy here and just bring it over here so these are the data that i i have for the each rows that you can see here uh, i'm going to use uh, one of the interesting features in power query under the transform we have parse and you can parse the json file over here so i'm going to doing that so it gives me a record to see that if you click on just white area here at the bottom of the page you will see there are four main records over there so similar to what we have here so uh, so i'm going to expand them so click on here i don't want to use the original name so i will expand them so still I have 261 rows of the data and these are the columns that I have. The last column is actually is a list. Again, if you back to the data, you will see that's a list. So for some of the data, the list has more items, for some of them null or more, actually more than two items. So again, I need to expand that one to the new rows. By doing that, you will see that actually the number of the index may be repeated because for one item now we have different rows of the data for example for item one we have two rows for two three and the rest so here on the each list actually we still have some record that means that these are the lists that i have so under the each list so this is list one and two on the each of them we have some record again i want to extract them so i'm going to extract them over here so now you extract everything that exists there there's something different first of all before doing that i have 261 rows of the data but at the end if i use the count rows in the power query to see how many rows i have i have about 1170 so i just remove it so because it has been repeated for the each rows of the data we have more rows here and uh, so it depends on you what you want so sometimes you don't need the list so you can just uh, stay with that but it's actually a really best approach instead of using a uh, combination of the split column and the other so it's much more easiest way so using that one even for the uh, XML file uh, can be really useful to extract the information and information that we got mostly from the web service they are in a JSON format so that's a really helpful one to extract the information very easily so this is a very, uh, just that one I want to show you that how we can doing that and I hope that you enjoy it and you can use it in your data analysis and your data transformation. Thanks so much for watching this video.